sort, Santa's, eh? All right, proper, we're finally getting a hand. Things is, if you've got a favourite sheep, best to fry her up now before she gets gold. How much exactly? Enough to cover the costs in gold and tears of a stolen you, I'd bet. Bertia should take the gold. She deserves compensation for Robert's misdeeds. And toss away the fruit of our labor? I think not. Any takers? Come on, you chickens! It's Bertia's sheep that was stolen. It makes sense that Robert's gold should compensate her. If we keep the gold, I'll use my share to buy you those fancy leather boots you've been eyeing. No, we'll do as I say. Aye, nothing will replace me old girl Oggett. But I suppose a bit of gold certainly softens the blow. Thanks for that, Sauce Hunter. I need a moment to reflect. Egotism certainly has its time and place, and I'm not afraid to take what I need. I'd put you first, too, if given the chance. One coin or two, noble spirit? One coin or two? Oh, I am a happy man, and certainly a humble one now. It turns out losing it all has its own share of benefits. Ah, a fool once was I, and ever seeking greater satisfaction than that which I already enjoyed. In my folly, I sought the counsel of those notorious Watcher statues on the Western Cliffs. Their guidance ruined any small fortune I might have had, but certainly granted me humility. I'd heard they were not to be trusted, that they gave fools advice to the fools who sought them, but somehow I believed that I was the exception. They told me that I would find fame and renown if I renounced my worldly possessions, all my worldly possessions, and became a great figure of piety and humility. Fire, the most thorough cleanser, was my method. But as my house burned in front of me, I felt no elevation, no piety, only the sudden weight of my own idiocy upon my very soul. Thank you, kind one. So, those statues told him he'd have to renounce his earthly possessions to become a spiritual leader, did they? Makes sense to me. How can you explore the spirit when you're busy keeping up with the Joneses? Indeed. He said himself that he's finally learned humility. Maybe he made the right choice, really. Ah, oh, cruel fortune. 
spare a, a coin? Rest in peace, darling. Jake, where are you? Are you here, Jake? Jake!
Looks like more of the Legionnaires sent to investigate the lighthouse. Stay sharp, or we'll end up the same. is valuable.
spray. Pushing, pulling, lifting, look at their muscles, huh? Just like my days at the fair. I used to sail the seven seas with the best of them. Better than the best of them. But found my true calling at the county fair. The strongest man in Scythefield I was, and they built me as such. Now those were swell times. How people marveled at my feats of strength. Boy, was I the cat pajamas back then. Anyone could go up against me in a grand old bare knuckle jamboree, but did they ever back me? Baloney. Now, now, I'm not a violent guy. Don't get me wrong. Make no mistake. But you know there's no harm in a little roughhousing now and again, putting on a show for the roaring crowd. Plenty challenged me in those days, but none managed to best snort. No, sir. Never rains, but it pours, eh? 